So, the question is, will I be purchasing any more nails from Timo? Hello, hello, this is Alvana Marie, and I am back with another video for you guys. If it's your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back, and I'm glad we're able to kick it with each other once again. So today is another nail video. <laughs> if you see my previous video, and if you haven't, go ahead and check it out. Trust me, it's worth every second of watching, okay? <laughs> I had a huge team Timu haul, and in that Timu haul, I had a plethora of false nails, press on nails, glue on nails, whichever you want to call it. And today I'm going to be applying one set of those nails on and I'm going to give you a one week review on these nails and see how well they last, if they chipped, if they peeled, if they popped off quick. We're going to go through the whole shebang with that, okay? <laughs> so the nails I'm going to be rocking um, is going to be these beautiful purple nails here. These are gorgeous. Um, listen, when I saw these, I said, yeah, I definitely want to try these on first. So here we are. We're going to try these on. I'm going to apply them. I'm going to show you how I apply my false nails. I have done, I think, a couple of false nails um, videos before. So this is not new to my channel. But one thing, if you have been watching me, you know I love nails i love a cute manicure i love press on nails particularly because i cannot do acrylic anymore unfortunately so yeah i still have to feel girly honey and so um press on nails is the way so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so you can go ahead and see how i apply them and then i'm going to give you a one week review on how well the nails last Okay, so this is all you will be using today. I have one thing on the floor because it <laughs> it just wouldn't be right laying it down like this. So let's go through everything. First thing is first, you need your set of nails. As you guys can see, you've seen it earlier. These are nails that we're going to be using today. Um, most nails come with these 24 pieces. So um, a pretty wide range of sizes of nails. Again, if you have wider nails or longer nails, it may, depending on the length and the shape um, and how it's made, it may fit or it may not fit. So you just have to, you know, work and see, work and see what works for you. So anyway, you got your nails. And then you're going to have uh, your cleaning prep tool here um i do have an actual like metal one but um i'm going to use this one here because most of the time when you get false nails you're going to get this little baby right here i don't know if it's going to clear up and one part at the top is for cuticles and one is to clean your nails so a cuticle pusher so you're going to use this part to push back your cuticles and you want to use the pointy part to clean your nails. You're also going to need a fingernail clipper um, to clip your nails down. Um, one thing I cannot stand when I put nails on and I notice later is that the my nail will show on the side. Um, I hate that. So I try to cut my nails down, which you can see I've already have done. Um, I like to cut my nails down to a healthy length. And what I mean by that is the closest length I can without cutting too much off because you don't want to um, make yourself prone to any infections by exposing too much of the meat underneath the nail. So that way I won't have that side nail situation. Ugh, it's annoying. So anyway. And then I have my glue here. You can choose any kind of glue that you want. This is the glue that I'm using today. This is the Bacart glue. Um, pretty good glue. This, this dries pretty fast, so you have to act quick with this. And then you can use any file that you want. You can use the square file here, or you can use the regular on file. This one is a little more coarser than this one. And this is really just to take the shine off your nail. You want to get all the oils or any moisture off your nails so that way the glue can have something to stick to and your nails can last long. And then here I have just some cuticle oil. I usually put this on. Um, 
not immediately after the nails i don't think it's going to pick this up not immediately after the nails are done <laughs> but once it's set a little bit i'll put some cuticle oil and just to make your you know fingers look very nice and well professionally done so <laughs> and then i have some counting rounds here that's just for me to do an extra clean make sure your hands are already nice and clean and dry but extra clean i'm going to use some alcohol here so rubbing alcohol and i notice when i do that i don't get like the little fungus little green thing on my nails after wearing press on nails so i've been doing that ever since so that's what the counting rounds are for and also it's for any kind of dirt or whatever that you clean out of your nails you can use that as well this is just what i use to display my nails when i pick out my sizes just a cute little fancy way of me doing it that's all and i got this from timu my first order I got from Timo. And I think that is all that we need. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and pick out my sizes for my nails and prep my nails. And I am going to have them on for a week so I can give you guys a review. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I now have the nails that I want to go ahead and put on. So now it's time to do a little bit of prepping and then I'm able to put my nails on. So now I'm going to go ahead. My nails are nice and prepped. Oh, one more thing I have to do. I do have to buff the shine off. So let me go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my nails. I go one nail at a time. So I go pinky to pinky, ring to ring, middle to middle, four to four, thumb to thumb. That's easier for me to keep control on how I place the nails and make sure I place them right. <music>
made with a cute design so um now we are going to patiently wait and see how these nails turn out with a whole week of wear so i will come back with my review hopefully on friday night <laughs> depending on how hectic it gets at work so hopefully I'll be able to give you a review on Friday night. Well, actually, no, a whole week would be next Sunday. So you won't get <laughs> you won't get the review until uh, I won't be able to give you a review until next Sunday, actually. So so far the nails look amazing. Um, they are a little cheeky made. Now one thing I forgot to do, which I will do right now is there's always like a little piece um from the nail let me show you guys let me see if i can actually show you i don't think you can see it it's like a little piece that's right here that's sticking out that is because most uh oh focus 
that's because most of um false nails come on like a little track thing and they kind of turn it and pull it off so it leaves like this little extra nail a little piece of nail there so what i'm going to do is just gently file it down not all the nails have it but some do and you can always shape your nails as well if you want to so uh, i'll check back with you guys on next sunday to see how well these nails last well hello guys i am back and i'm back to give you a review on these nails uh it's been six days actually i know i said i was gonna do a full seven days but i'm kind of ready to take these nails off and i'm going to get to you on the details of why and everything like that so <laughs> i'm gonna give you the pros and the cons of these nails and if i'm going to purchase any nails from Tinu again so let's go ahead and get to this review okay all right let's just start off with your girl is very being a very minimalist when it comes to makeup today it's hot in texas and i had a lot of outside stuff today and i was like i am not trying to suffocate my skin with makeup so a lip mascara and brows are dead so i look a mess but a cute mess mm, how you doing <laughs> Okay, so let's get into this review here. I have some pros, some cons, and just gonna let you know if I'm gonna be purchasing any nails from Timu again. I'm actually going to start off with the cons because, I don't know, I always feel like I wanna leave on a good foot. So let's go ahead and start with the cons. <laughs> so the first con is pretty obvious. This nail here is missing. <laughs> Where to go? I don't know. I was typing and I looked down and I went, oh. <laughs> Honey, I don't know where or when this nail popped off, but it popped off on day two. Day two. Yes, it did. Now, could be a plethora of reasons why. It could be on me. Maybe I didn't apply much, uh, uh, enough glue. Maybe I didn't hold it down long enough. I don't know. But I just know um the second day afternoon it was gone <laughs> so yeah that was the first con but it just popped off automatically but again i can't really blame the actual nail company or it wasn't me just know that was the first thing but as i noticed that i also noticed something else that is a con definitely going towards the company and it's this here. I'm going to get it as close as I can so you guys can see. There is a split right there by the cuticles in the nail. Not only that, but the clear coat of the polish has chipped off. And that started on day two. So I had some nails that already had the clear coat chipping off. So, um, and I have about four nails that have a split to it. My thumbs, they split right where the cuticle part is. And I have one middle finger and a fourth finger that is split off at the top of the nail. So, the first split was the two thumbs. That was on day two as well. And then the other nails, actually this one split today. And this one split, I believe, maybe Thursday. So... Needless to say, these nails, um, you might have to put an extra coat on here or something like that to keep it nice and strong so they won't split on you. Um, but yeah, that's what happened there. Um, so that's another con of these nails. Other than that, I think everything else were pros. One pro is even though I had some cracked and split nails, I still got great compliments on these nails. I actually got a compliment today and all of this here, the split nails and all that and the one missing nail was very visible. Um, <laughs> and I still got compliments on them. That's really crazy. <laughs> they just, from afar, they look, well, I mean, come on. From afar, they look pretty great, okay? But up close, that's when you're gonna be like, mm, what happened? 
The design is another pro because they're really cute. I really, really like this design and I, it's catching people's attention and they don't see like the imperfections of the actual nail because the design itself is really cute. And I, and honestly, that was the reason why I chose it and that was the reason why these was the first nails I wanted to try on because the design was really cute. So the design of it is eye-catching. It definitely would give you some compliments. But yeah, that's a pro. Another pro is I love how the nails look on my natural nail because it looks like it's actually my natural nail. The way that it sits on my nail, it looks how my nails curve a little bit. It gives you a very realistic look. It looks like I went and got, you know, a manicure and they just put a little design on my nail and nothing else. If anything, they probably put like some shellac or something on my nails, but it doesn't look like you know, it doesn't look fake. It, it's really, really, really natural. And again, when I got compliments from people, um, when I actually show them what they look like, they look at it and they go, you say there's false nails? It was hard for them to, <laughs> to see that it was false nails because it really looks very natural on my nails. So that was a really good pro there that it looks natural. And the design, it's just so darn cute, okay? <laughs> It's just cute. So, the question is, will I be purchasing any more nails from Timo? Well, I don't quite know at this moment, given the fact that this is the first set of nails. Um, it could have been a bad batch of nails. It could have been how I applied it. Maybe I have to do a little bit extra um, protection for the nails so it can last longer without splitting. I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to probably try another set or two before I make the decision if I'm going to purchase more. These set of nails, I might give this one another shot. I might buy another one because I think these are freaking cute. I actually want to see if they have this in, in like different colors, maybe pink or like a lime green or something like that. Hopefully they do. If not, it is what it is. I'll get the purple again. But yeah. I have to see. Oh, and my grade. I'm going to give these nails a C. I want to give it a C plus. And I say C plus because the pros, um, to me, it's, it's somewhat leaning, somewhat leaning towards giving it a, you know, um, not somewhat. It is leaning towards me giving it another shot versus eh, exiting out altogether. But all right, y'all, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, let me know in the comments if you purchased anything from Team Moon. If you have, did you like it? Did you did you not like it? Or do you plan on purchasing anything on Team Moon? If you are, what things are really catching your eye that you might want to spend your coins on with Team Moon, honey? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear y'all feedback, and I love to hear some of y'all stories. Some of y'all be giving me some great stories when y'all comment. I like to hear it, so keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> You guys, we are literally so close to a thousand subscribers. What? We are literally close, close, close. So I thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are amazing. And continue to support your girl. I have a plethora of videos that you guys can check out. Particularly one I have right here on the screen here. Right here. Is it this? Is it right here? It's somewhere over here. You'll check it out. You'll see it at the end. <laughs> There's great videos, there's hauls, and there's all kinds of videos for you guys to check out. So continue to support your girl by watching my videos and commenting. I love communicating with you guys. You are awesome. So that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, peace.